Welcome in everyone. This is part two of my expert rift guide. In these guides, I'm gonna be covering the bosses that you find in the expert rift. And uh, this one, we're covering Breaker. He was in the rift twice uh, the week when I recorded this. So I can show you two ways how to fight him. The ROM 2 one, uh, the threat was slightly lower, but as you can see, he don't come with any hero charm. So if he does show up twice, you're gonna to wanna to get to the later version. Usually if the expert bosses turn up on round two, they don't have the hero charms that everyone wants. So the thing that makes Breaker tricky is he takes your buffs off of you. So if you're using weak and unprotect, which you should be, if you're lower on the rift power, then he takes your protect off you. So the go-to strategy for this one is to tune all your armor to goblin. So you get 50% resistance from goblin enemies before you even start. But I'm showing you Alchemist class here for this fight. So if you are an Alchemist main, this is what I would do. Uh, the charms I've got equipped are 190% Alchemist chance. And I've got a few bits of defense on there. And then the other hero charms, they're warrior, so they're not affecting me. I've got the five triangle weapon as ever with the Maverick gauntlet. And the Alchemist class works in exactly the same way as Warrior does. So... You want to take your weakened hero, which is grim, and you want to take another. Now that other hero, if you've got protect on the weapon and you've got focus on the weapon, so that you can use the Maverick Gauntlet. That can be anyone. So you can use a delay hero, Garen or Samael. I prefer Garen over Samael because he charges quicker and it hits a little bit harder. Or if you don't need delay in this particular fight, then you will go for cleanse, and they're the two main things that are going to cause problems. Bosses with things that you need to delay or enemies with dots that you need to cleanse. And they're your main two problems when you're using weak and unprotect. So having that free hero slot is essential. For this one, I'm taking Ayako because he comes with a fury buff already on him. It's infinite buff, you can't get rid of it. You can overwrite it with the weaken, but I like to just take it from him. I'm starting this fight in round two just to get straight into it and as you see there i just took the buff off him with ayako overwriting it with weaken does work just as well but if you weaken don't land then it does have fury and that cuts through your protect it gives him his standard damage so if the threat is higher than your rift power it gets a little bit dangerous especially if you resist that weaken and this boss is vulnerable to freeze as well freeze don't work stun don't work in the expert rift if the threat is higher than your rift power but if your rift power is a little bit higher than the threat as mine is here the freeze will work pretty reliably against him i don't recommend you rely on it in general uh, which is why i don't recommend ericsson as one of your first level 60 heroes as many people seem to do i don't recommend that because in the expert rift it's just not reliable enough to use constantly. If you are on the lower side of Rift Power, say you've got 300, 350 and you want to try out the Expert Rift, highly recommend taking uh, Protect on the Weapon and the Weakened Hero, just as I'm doing here. Because, yeah, it's rough in there if you're lower on the Rift Power. Uh, but that is how I would fight that boss as Alchemist class. There's another one later on, so I'm going to show you how I do it as a warrior class as well. Before we get straight into the second breaker fight of this video, I have had a lot of people come and ask me why I don't recommend stun resist for the expert rift when there's uh, the bears in there that stun you. And the simple reason is, is I don't think you need it because you only ever get one bear at a time. Now the rift power... Uh, the threat in this one is a lot higher now it's about 100 above my threat and i haven't equipped uh, tuned any armor to beast you can do but i'm just about to show you now i've never seen two bears next to each other in the same lineup in the expert rift since it come out you only seem to get one bear at a time so as long as you take garen with you you delay that power it can't use its power it can't stun you and that's literally why I don't recommend stun resist anymore and I recommend expose resist for the expert rift in those slots. If you haven't seen the build guides that I made yet, highly recommend checking them out. I'll put links in the description as well. 
and now onto the second breaker fight. This is the one on Realm 6. This is the one with the hero charms. This is the one you want to try and get to, to fight. We've got 723 Rift Power versus 815 Fret. So yeah, we're in sort of dangerous territory here, about 100 under. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is attune all my armor to Goblin because of how high the threat is. Obviously, if you're newer to the Expert Rift, I would recommend doing this anyway. I don't recommend taking off your Mythic armor to fight these bosses. It's just stupid. I only do it for the videos. Uh, so yeah, always use your Mythic armor in the Rift, which is why I made guides to show you how to build it properly as well. Now, a quick tip regarding the portions, the Protect portions. They stack on top of your Weaken and your Protect. So the blue ones will give you minus 75% damage. Protect already gives you minus 35% damage. So if you use one of them, that's 110% damage reduction. And exactly the same with the uh, green ones. That's 50% damage reduction. And if you tune on your armor to Goblin, that'll stack on top of that. That's 50%. And then that's 100% uh, damage reduction from Goblin enemies. So yeah, uh, try counting it up on the fly. Your Protect is 35%, your Weaken is 35%, and then that stacks on top of the potions, so you don't need to use purple ones all the time. I'm taking Logan and Ericsson. I've got the Maverick Gauntlet like, and the Sod. As ever, highly recommend using that because you can gain rage so quickly. The strategy I'm going with for the fight itself is you just simply alternate the rages. Now, as I've already mentioned multiple times, there will be fights where you're going to need delay or you're going to need cleanse alongside your weakened hero. But for this sort of fight, I don't think that you need it. So you can take your weakened hero and a damaged hero. This is incredibly effective for the normal rift as well. If you're alchemist, I would recommend Grim and Melissant. And then all you do is you alternate the rages, you get your weaken up with the first rage, and you deal damage with the second rage, and then you just rinse and repeat that over and over again. I'm using Ericsson for damage because he's goblin type. His stats are exactly the same as Logan, but because he's goblin type, he's getting the two times multiplier versus the goblin enemies. And all you do is you alternate the rages just like that. And it gives you quite a lot of damage as well. I'm using Hero Charm, so it's all multiplied as well. And the Weaken landed on this boss, so it cancels out his Fury. And then I can continue alternating the Rages as the fight goes on. Using a Protect Potion here because he's going to take my Protect off me. And then there's the Healer in the back that will hit hard as well. And then you just carry on with the routine, really. Alternating the rages, maximizing your damage, taking care of the boss as quickly as you can. Now the boss is isolated. His damage is not going to be very high because I've got the five times attunements, which is minus 50% goblin damage, and he's weakened as well, which is 35%. So I'm only taking 15% of his overall damage every time he hits me, even without the protect. And that's all there is to this boss, really. You just continue maintaining your weaken and maximizing the damage that you're dealing to the boss himself. And there it is. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I have been James B. Online. Good luck out there. Obviously I didn't get a single hero charm after all that, did I?